Welcome to Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura. And when we start with a quilt panel, when we go to make a quilt, it really speeds up the time that we need to make a quilt. After all, it's already a big piece of fabric that we do not need to piece. It's just a matter of adding some borders and some pieces on it. Well, I have a fun border that we're going to be able to put on any quilt panel. We will need the panel and only three fabrics. Now I'm going to start with a great big Santa panel. So this will be a quick one to make in time for Christmas. This panel is from Timeless Treasures and I like that it has a lot of blue in it. So I've pulled in blue, red, and white so I can pick up all of the sparkles of the snow and the sky. So I'm only needing three colors. One yard of each will be plenty. Take your panel, give it a good press, and cut it down so that it's 24 and a half inches by 40 and a half inches. This quilt will have a checkered border around it, so we will need to cut five widths of fabric at two and a half inches from both the red and the white. So to start, we are just going to sew those long strips together one red, one white together, and stitch that quarter inch seam allowance. And then press all of the seams to that red side. So instead of having 10 strips, we will now have five joined strips. Once those strips have been sewn together and the seams have been pressed to the dark side, we're going to cut them apart. We will need four units that will be cut at four and a half inches. So we will have a four and a half inch square. For the remaining pieces, we need to cut 64, so they're four and a half inches by two and a half inches. You're going to need four units with five pieces in each and four units with nine pieces in each. And we will need four units with two pieces together. Once we have the nine strips together, the five strips, and those two strips together, we're going to add these together to make full borders. Divide the pile in half, and then we're going to take that long piece that we cut and stitch it in between. We need to do that to the short piece and the long piece. This will become the top and the bottom border, and this will become sides. From the red fabric, Cut two widths of fabric at four and a half inches and cut those into 12 four and a half inch squares. Those 12 squares are going to go on those four little corners. So we're going to have three squares on the sides of that four patch. We do want that one red to match the red. This will become a corner and it's going to look like it's pieced in. You can do four four and a half inch squares and do four pieces four and a half inches by eight and a half inches and sew those together. Either way is going to work fine. With the checkerboards done, we need to have four widths of fabric cut from the blue at four and a half inches. We will need two pieces cut at 24 and a half inches and two pieces cut at 40 and a half inches. And that's all we're going to need for this quilt. That 24 and a half inch strip will go on that small piece and have that darker square, the red square, facing that blue. That 40 and a half inch strip will match onto that long strip and have that red coming towards the blue. So we can just put those together and sew a quarter inch. On each end of that short piece, we can put these little corners. We'll be able to see that the white blocks are going to stay in line. So we're gonna have these checkerboards staying in line. From here, we're going to sew these onto that quilt panel. The first ones we're gonna put on are the two long sides. That blue, is going to go along the panel. The tops and the bottoms will match because the sides are 40 and a half inches and the panel is 40 and a half inches. When those two sides are stitched on, 
This top piece is going to fit perfectly. These corners are going to continue that checkerboard theme. So it's going to look like the checkerboard is going all the way around and then the corners are off a bit. So it's going to make it appear a little bit more of a circular shape or a big oval. Starting with that great big panel in the center and that simple border going around, the quilt does equal 40 inches by 56 inches. And we can really see that circular shape with the checkerboard border. Now we could continue to add borders if we would like, or just have fun and leave it the way it is. This particular panel would look really great once it's quilted to put little jewels on it little sequences so that the sky would sparkle and all of the landscape would sparkle along with it. It would be a fun panel to embellish. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.